The most important part of collaboration is having an open dialogue with other members of the design team. In this session, we'll look at how we can use BIM 360 Team to add comments to a design. As you can see, I've just launched BIM 360 Team. I'm going to jump into a project. I'll select this one called Fish Pond Road Improvements. And I'd like to take a look at the plan sheets. I'll do that by selecting the plan sheets folder. Here we have a large collection of DWFs. Let's open up Plan and Profile 2. When the sheet comes up in the large model viewer, I'm going to roll the mouse wheel forward to zoom in. I can hold the wheel down and pan. We can review the sheet. You know, in this area, it might make more sense for this proposed culvert to cross the road on an angle. So I'd like to add a comment. To create the comment, I'll come down to the toolbar and click the Comments button. I will then choose Comment on Points. This allows me to place my comment at a specific location on the page. I'm going to click right here, and then I can enter my comment. It might be better for this culvert to be placed at an angle. When I'm finished, I'll choose Post. This will add the comment to the sheet. You can see that's comment number one. In fact, if I come up here, we can open the comments pane and we can see the comment associated with this sheet. The nice thing is now that I've created this comment, everybody associated with this project got an email informing them of my notation. They can then use that email to link back to this sheet and review my comment and reply if necessary. Let's add another comment. I'm going to pan this down. Here we can see where that culvert is crossing the sanitary sewer. I am going to add another comment right here. Do we have enough separation between these utilities? Once again, I'll choose Post. We can see that we've placed a new comment, number two. That one is now showing up in the Comments pane. Just for a second, I'm going to jump back to the Plan Sheets folder. We'll assume that we are someone that received an email about the comments, and we're jumping in to take a look at what was said. I'm going to choose that Plan and Profile sheet. Here we can see the two comments on the page. If I hover over these, they'll open up, and we can see the information. Likewise, if there were several comments, I could always open the Comments pane, and I can select these from here to navigate to that area of the page. Since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and reply to my own comment. I'll say, I agree. I'll make this change this afternoon. When I'm finished, I'll click Reply. And we won't see the update over here in the pane just yet. I'll need to hit F5 to refresh this page. Using the same technique, we can easily comment on any DWF plan sheet or aggregated model. Now that I'm finished reviewing the comments for this page, I'm going to go ahead and close the pane, and I'll return to the overall project level. As you can see, BIM 360 Team makes it very easy for members of a design team to provide input on the status of a design. By creating comments, everyone on the team can be engaged in the dialogue and be aware of any potential changes. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.